Welcome back to the fifth part in this video series and in this one we're going to talk about starting the angular part of this application so that means uh, the uh, the front end development essentially uh, so to get started what I want to do first is I need to put angular on this page uh, and there's a few ways you can do that you could do it with something like Bower or just npm but I'm going to use uh, just a straightforward CDN and to grab that I'm just going to go to the angular website and you can see I've got this link here and this is a link to what's called a minified Angular JavaScript file. And what I can do is grab this link. And all I need to do is uh, paste it in what is essentially just a script tag. So it's how you link uh, JavaScript files to your page. And inside the source attribute on this, on this script tag, I'm going to paste in that link. I'm just going to close up this gap here. And that should be all we need to do to be able to get Angular uh, working on the page. Uh, I'm also going to do uh, what's called an Angular ng app. So I'm going to do ng app and I'm going to call it uh, to do. Uh, so I'm going to try to camel case things. That's just a convention that I like to stick to when I'm working with sort of JavaScript frameworks in general. And it's also going to have a controller. So this is an Angular thing if you're familiar with Angular 1. And I'm going to say to do controller. Now this is going to be how we essentially hook into our uh, HTML, our template, uh, from the JavaScript file. Uh, and to do the sort of corresponding part of that, I'm going to uh, sort of link the two together. Uh, so I'm just going to say app is equal to Angular. So that's going to be using uh, the script that we just linked to. Uh, so that Angular keyword is important because it's sort of a reference to that script, to that script or that other JavaScript. Uh, that we've imported and I'm going to say dot module and this is going to be called uh, we called this to do I think uh, so uh, to register that I'm just going to do that and that should be all we need to do to register that module uh, so I'm also going to define a controller and this is going to be a to do controller so you'll notice hopefully that this corresponds with the thing that we were doing in the template and all I'm going to do here is I'm going to define a function and uh, that's going to give us reference to the scope which is uh, essentially uh, access to the elements on this page which we can manipulate using the JavaScript uh, so we'll manipulate it within the function and uh, so I'm just going to space that out a bit and now we have a place to in our JavaScript be able to manipulate the HTML template that we have here or some of the contents in it based on an action taken by the user. Uh, so at the moment we don't have any inputs or anything like that in the template. Uh, it may be something that we want to add later to be able to uh, have that sort of interactivity. But for now I'm just going to define, uh, well let's just give it a quick refresh just to check that it works. And so at the moment we, we do have Angular loading in, so that's the minified JavaScript as you can see. So it's a bit faster to load and at the moment I think that's all we can do until we actually start to add some more elements to our into our HTML. So let's go back to our template so I'll just leave this as is for now and here we can do a few things. I think the first thing that I want to do is I want to add a form so this is going to be able to give the user access to uh, adding something to their to-do list so it's going to have like an input box and maybe a submit button so that we can submit that task to the de to the to-do list. So I'm actually going to delete all of these for now and I'm just going to add an input uh, and that's going to be a text input and I'll leave the rest off and then I'll, I'll do another input and that's going to be a submit button and the value I'm just going to say submit so that we have some text on that button. I'm going to delete the name here because we don't need that and I'm going to refresh so now we've got that little form and we should be able to type something in and press submit. Now at the moment that's not going to do anything because we haven't got any JavaScript to be able to tell it what to do. In the next video then we're going to pick up from essentially where we sort of left off here and we're going to try to make this submit button actually do something. 